It's Monday, welcome back to the channel. The grind continues for me and today I wanted to talk about the storage on the SP404 Mark II. Now, I do get quite a few questions about this in the comments. I think this will be especially useful for people that are looking to purchase this, but for those of you that already got it, there may be some information in here which you weren't aware of. So I just want to go through everything to do with storage on the SP404 Mark II because it does change from the earlier models. So just a quick little bit of history on the SX and the A. We have the SD card and everything kind of works around that. That is the storage center for the whole device. Every sample that you save, it gets saved onto the SD card and that's an integral part of using the device. Now it changes a little bit on the Mark II because this has its own internal memory. Now it's got 16 gigabyte internal memory and it's SSD. So what this means is it's super fast at processing things. That's one huge advantage of having its own internal storage. You don't have to rely on the speed and the connection to the SD card. So that's a really, really big bonus. And obviously it's great because we get to to store samples on the device and we don't have to use the SD card at all. But the great thing about having the SD card on the side as well is that this is kind of a mobile external hard drive. That's how I think about it on the Mark II. So imagine you have a physical external drive for the Mark II next to you. That's exactly what the SD card is, but it's just actually in the unit. So it's really convenient, it's really useful. And obviously the way we get to it is Shift and 14. You can see import and export. And here you can import from SD card, you can export to the SD card, you can format the SD card, all those things. So if I went to import, you can import samples and projects as well. I'm going to go to samples and you can see here, these are all things that I've got in my import folder. They will stay on the SD card for as long as you have them in there. That's again different to the SX and the A because once you use the import feature on the SX and the A, all the files disappeared after you imported them once, whereas now they're permanently on here. So you can see here I've got loads of different things saved in folders, SPVID sample packs which are available on spvids.com, nice little plug, and you can go in and select sounds, import them to your heart's content. And one thing that I want to point out which I don't think that many people know about, it's a little bit of a sneaky update, but in 3.0 they actually updated the capacity that you can have the SD card. So you can now use up to a one terabyte SD card. Now that's going to give you an unbelievable amount of samples to be able to delve into. So if you're someone that's on the move a lot, that's going to be really, really useful. And just in general, obviously it's always nice to have more storage available so we can store more things, more samples, more sounds. So make sure you take advantage of that. The only caveat to this is that if you do upgrade it and get a one terabyte one, make sure you hold on to your 32 gigabyte card because the maximum card that will work for updating the machine is 32 gigabytes. So updating the machine is still limited to 32 gigs. So if you want to do an update and you want to drop the files onto the SD card, that has to be a card that's 32 gigabyte or less. You can just have that as a kind of update card and then you can take that out and put your one terabyte one back in again and all your samples can be stored on there. And just for a bit of information as well, I'll put this on the screen, but recordable data, uh, samples 2,560. So that's 16 samples times 10 banks times 16 projects stored in the internal storage. And patterns, 2,560 as well. 16 patterns, 10 banks and 16 projects stored in the internal storage. Internal storage, again, size 16 gigabyte, and that includes the preload data. Maximum sampling time, 16 minutes. So it's saying it's approximately 185 megabytes per sample. The data format is 16-bit linear and import formats as well. You've got WAV, AIFF or AIF. I don't know if, you, I don't know if that gets called AIF for sure. Uh, and MP3 is included. And it says the Mark II app supports WAV, AIF, MP3, FLAC, and M4A. And on top of that, the sample rate is 48 kilohertz as well. So I think that's pretty much everything I know about the internal storage on the Mark II. It is a lot better having that separation and having the SSD to be able to process things really, really quickly. So it's a bit of a different workflow, but I think it's a massive improvement. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. I'll be back very soon with more content, guys. So make sure you're subscribed. And if you can smash that thumbs up as well, I would also appreciate that.